Mr. Ade Arogundadi, please give him a round of applause. Thank you, Kevin. The acting Nigeria High Commissioner to the Court of uh, St. James, uh, Ambassador. Kule Bangweshe, the head and minister of chancery, Aliaji uh, Ahmed Yunusa, the chairman of Central Association of Nigeria in the UK, Mr. Babatude Noye, our patrons, uh, Chief Angus Chukwe Emeka, Uh, Councillor Sandra Collins, uh, all the members of the Nigeria community, my elders, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you very much for turning out for you tonight. Uh, I am indeed you know, very grateful to have you here. Um, first and foremost, I want to say thank you to Almighty God for making it possible for us to gather here together today. People do ask me all the time, what do you celebrate? Why do you celebrate? What has Nigeria got to be proud of? What's not do you say Nigeria has achieved? Uh, well, the fact that you know, Nigeria is still there as a country, the fact that you know, we have hope the fact that you know, our faith in the fact that you know, Nigeria will keep on growing stronger. The fact that, yes, you know, we are the largest economy in Africa. 
The fact that, yes, you know, in the next couple of years, Nigeria will rank among the top 20 economy in the world. We have every reason to say thank you to God. That's why we're here tonight. Uh, once again, I say thank you very much. Um, I am uh, not going to take too long of your time. I'm going to go straight into you know, uh, what you know, we've been doing in the past year, uh, which have been of you know, huge benefits to Nigerians in the diaspora here in Manchester. Uh, we do help you know, with immigration issues. I mean, we help people with immigration problems. We work, you know, close to, we work with the police, we do counseling, we do training and education, we do general welfare, we deal with general welfare matters relating to elders, the youth, you know, students. Uh, we help you know, with uh, supporting people doing anything social, with, uh, social functions. We do help with people, uh, we do help people with housing issues. Uh, we help you know, with you no know, employment issues. We can help you prepare your CV or do career guidance for you. So these are the sort of things you know, that we do in the community. Very many people have benefited from this. Now we work very closely with the High Commission. As you can see, I have next to me you know, Ambassador here, the Nigeria High Commissioner. So thank you, sir, for coming to this occasion. Now uh, we will uh, continue to spread to ensure continuous improvement in our working relationship with the High Commission. Uh, we will not cease, uh, we will not you know, stop uh, making sure that you know, our relationship with the High Commission keeps you know, getting stronger and stronger. Now I want to see this opportunity to make you know, a couple of you know, special requests to the High Commissioner. I'm not trying to put you on this spot, sir. It's just a general request. Okay, now, you know, we are very grateful. You've been very supportive uh, in the past, you know, a couple of years, you know, since we came on. Uh, you've been, you know, you've sent, you know, your staff over here, you know, to do data capture for the passports. You know, uh, when we invited you in January for a social function, you turned up, you know, with your ministers. You know, uh, you know, every, you know, anything we ask you for, you know, you do it for us. You know, if there is no reason for, you know, for not doing it, if there is any reason for not doing it, you always let us know. Okay, now, you know, I want to implore you, sir, that, uh, you know, the passport, you know, data capture exercise, uh, we want to make it, you know, to be much more, the process, you know, we want it to be much more structured. You know, uh, we've had, you know, data capture done only once, you know, this year. I think you know it should be done maybe you know three times or four times in a year, and that will make it you no know, more ideal. Because it's not only people in Manchester that benefit from this. We have people coming from Liverpool, people phone me from even Aberdeen, people telephone me to make inquiries about Nigerian passports issues. You know, from uh, Birmingham, people call me from Blackpool, they call me from Liverpool. So you know, if we, you we, we increase the number of times, you know, your staff come up, you know, come over here to do data capture, that will help a lot in relieving quite a number of our people. So please consider this for us. Now the next issue, uh, which you know, will not be quite unexpected, is the issue of Apple B House. Apple B House, no, uh, we are not asking for what you know, Apple did in the past. We, are not, we, don't want, no, we don't really want anything like that. All we want, you now we're asking for is for us to be able to have a monthly meeting, monthly meetings at Apple B House. You know, we've been, you know, we've made quite a number of uh, uh, requests, you know, on this, you know, uh, quite repeatedly. You know, th nothing has happened. We implore you to consider this, and uh, you know, we will be putting it in writing to you in due course. Uh, these are the two requests. Now, I said I will not take much of your time. I'm going to round up my speech now. And uh, I will not go without saying thank you to my executive members. Okay, anyway, thank you very much, guys. I'm very grateful. Thank you, Aya, for coming around. God bless you. God bless you, everyone. Thanks a lot. I'm grateful. Thank you very much. Can I have another warm round of applause, please, for the chairman of the Nigerian community in Manchester? And I actually have to say, Your Excellency, I recently renewed my passport. 
and I found the process seamless. So thank you very much, sir. So I encourage everybody else, if you do want to renew your passport, your Nigerian passport, do it. It's really easy and very simple. Seriously. Trust me, I've done it. I'm a witness. Okay, so to proceed with the program this evening, I would like to welcome to give an address the chairman of the Central Association of Nigerians in the United Kingdom, Kanuk, Mr. Babatunde Loyi. The Act, Acting High Commissioner to the Court of St. James's, Ambassador Balakunle Bambushe, the Ministers from the High Commission, the Chairman of um, Nigerians, Nigerian Community in Manchester, Mr. Arubindade and his beautiful wife, um, my sister. Rosalind from London and uh, the President of Ebo, yeah, Mr. Jenkins, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Fifty-five years ago, a nation called Nigeria was birthed as an independent state from colonial rule under Great Britain. And today here, in, the, in this same country of our colonial master, I stand representing over 3 million Nigerians in the UK to celebrate the independence with friends of Nigeria. Nigeria. It is also remarkable that our celebration coincides with the 70th anniversary of the United, States, the United Nations. It is the testament that our country, Nigeria, is poised for greatness. I bring no other message to this auspicious time of our nation, national history than to say that there is unity in diversity. One of the Nigerian own national anthem titled Nigeria with Aid, bequeathed to us by our colonialists as this, thou tribe and thumb may differ, in brotherhood we stand. This is what my tenure as Chairman of Canada, Central Association of Nigerians in the United Kingdom, is poised to promote. I have seen a lot of successes in the angle of all the association organizations joining Central Association of Nigerians in the United Kingdom. We just we started six months ago. I can tell you that we've got over 40 associations that have actually joined Canada. I would enjoy you to embrace that same spirit. We're the largest single black nation in the United Kingdom, an Africa greatest country, endowed with natural resources, beauty, and brains. Next year, I want to come here like this to see Greater Nigerian Community in Manchester to have improved in all ramifications. Finally, as today is not for a speech contest, let me personally announce here in the Nigerian, our Nigerian yearly dance and award night coming up on the 6th of December in London. And you're gonna be paying a token, just 50 pounds. We're inviting all Nigerians in the UK. I want to end by saying a big thank you to your leadership and their support to have me elected as current chair. Happy Independence Day. Long live the Republic of Nigeria in the U in the Republic of Nigeria. Long live the Central Association of Nigerians in the UK. Long live the Nigerian Committee in Manchester. Long live everybody. God bless you all. Mr. Olukunle Pambushe, can you have a round of applause, please? Well, I, good evening, or very first, uh, 
start by recognizing the chairman of the Nigerian community in Manchester, Chief Ade Arabudane, and of course, team of colleagues from the Nigerian Commission. And we have uh, this uh, Odeni, who is a Minister of Consular Education and Welfare. If you can just wave. We also have the Minister in Charge of Administration in the Embassy, Alaji Amedi Musa. Of course, we also have uh, Mr. Enya. And honestly, we can't be here today if we are not paid. Because you know we need money to come to board the train. So we have with us today also our accountant, Rona. Of course, I would also recognize the chairman of CANO, the Central Association of Nigerians in the United Kingdom, who is also with us here, Mr. Bakuni Loye. And of course, all the other gentlemen and ladies. Let me start by uh, thanking the chairman of the uh, Nigerian community in Manchester for organizing this event. I was here January 17th this uh, year to attend, I think I don't know whether it was then, the New Year Party? Uh, yeah, it was a New Year Party. New Year Party. And uh, you know, one thing I've noticed this evening is that free things are not always the best. You know, the last time they, they, they used the Apple House, which is the Nigerian property here, and it wasn't the best, really. Because it turned, the, 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 the way the, the, the mission was configured is not really meant for a party like this. But we get them free of charge to use it. But today, I believe they must have paid for this. And so we can see the, the, the seating arrangement, everything is very good for this kind of occasion. And uh, let, me thank, let me thank him for that, and members of the executive. And what I've also noticed in him is his zeal and passion for service. Uh, he's been somebody who's always uh, a defender of the community here in Manchester in his relations with the, with the High Commission. So before I sit down, I, I'll just speak briefly on three things. The nation the mission, and you. When I say the, the nation, I mean our country, Nigeria. Uh, the speaker before me has mentioned quite a lot of things about Nigeria. But I think today, there is the change element in Nigeria. And one of the things that we should gloat about, one of the things that we should tell people, maybe shout at the rooftops, is the fact that we have we moved from a ruling government who has been in power for 16 years, and then we have a situation where the opposition won an election in Nigeria, and the transition was not only seamless, but it was peaceful. Either the people expected that one, it wasn't possible in Nigeria, it can never happen, no opposition party can win. Two, that even if it happened, there will be war, there will be crisis. But the opposition party won, and there was no crisis. And of course, the new government has also uh, brought hope to people that things will, uh, uh, will not be as were happening before. Uh, so what we should do is to key in and of course support our government in achieving the objectives and goals that the ruling government has set for itself. Let me speak briefly then on the mission. By the mission, I mean the Nigeria High Commission. It's unfortunate that every time we speak here in the UK, one issue that comes up is the issue of passport. And it's unfortunate because in other countries, it's given. It's not unusual. You want the passport, you go to your, your, the consular section of your embassy, and then, of course, you get your passport. But in Nigeria, it's unusual. Not in, in the UK, it's unusual for quite a lot of things, a number of reasons. One, unofficially, I think we have about 2 million Nigerians in the UK. 
and then that is one. Two, you have the mission in London servicing these two million Nigerians. And then you have limited staff, limited facilities. So you expect that you have these kind of problems. But in spite of that, the mission has made it possible that you have minimal contact with people, now you do virtually everything online. Once you print out your things, you pay, you go there, you don't need to, need to know anybody before you have your passport and before you get your visa. You don't, know, you don't need to know me, you don't need to know any of the officers, just get their key up and then of course you, you will have your passport. Uh, the chairman in a statement made uh, two requests. Of course we'll come here, but I'm sure we'll here sometimes up to 200. It's not, but, but you also recognize, you also recognize that when we move here, we move, we, we also disturb or hamper the way we, uh, we operate in, in London. Because we move, the, we have four immigration officers. If we move all of them to, to, uh, to Manchester, it means the work in London will not, uh, of course, uh, go on fire. So when we move them, we want to capture about 500, 600. So that the, the expenses in terms of doing financial play, in terms of moving the, 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 the officers are be worth it. But when we move people here, and at the end of the day, they capture only 100. It's not really something that is, um, uh, something that will really um, at one, if I can use that word. So I think one thing is this, I'll talk about the challenge to you. Mobilize yourself. And if you have to fight for it, I can assure you that day you'll see a people here to, to when I say, sorry, when I say mobilize, I mean people not only in uh, Manchester, surrounding uh, people here. If you can get us a high number, then we can bring in the people so that they're coming with them what the world. On the other hand, you also you raise the issue of using the Afrobeat uh, House for your for your meetings. I will not pronounce on that here, but will, because we will look at it and the mission. If you make a uh, formal request, we will look at it and then we'll let you know what the decision of the of the of the, of the mission is as regards to that. The last thing I will comment on is uh, you. When I mean you, I mean we, the the, the diasporans. Uh, we have uh, a duty also to make sure that we contribute our own quota to national development. And there is a Nigerian, I think she's the, uh, uh, chairman of Middle South. She's made a mark quite like many of you here. In Nigeria today we have the FOI Act, Freedom of Information, uh, which has been signed to law. But she started the process here in the UK. She sold the idea to the federal government. The federal government came into it. She was invited to Nigeria. She sold the idea to them and then they started the process. Today we have the FOI Act in Nigeria, which means anybody can access any uh, the information, government information, in line with the laid down rules. So we are challenged in whatever area of life we are, either in the medical field, in the engineering field, uh, the, 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 the platform is there for you to contribute your own quota to national uh, uh, development. Um, we also realized that I think about a month ago, there was this uh, diaspora commission or meeting, meeting that was held in Nigeria. Quite a number of people went there, uh, attended. So what I'm saying is this, there's quite a lot that Nigerian diaspora can contribute to our national development. And please do not hold back. I was listening to our national anthem as we sang, and I saw that the first thing is, arise, O compatriots, Nigeria's call obey, to serve our fatherland with love and strength and faith. And that challenge, that clarion call, is for us today to rise up and make our contributions. What I've noticed here, the United Kingdom. At times when I speak to people and I ask them, how long have you been here? They say, well, I've been here for 16 years, 20 years. I say, oh, that's wonderful. When last were you in Nigeria? Oh. So we should please endeavor, in as much as we contribute to the pay tax here, do everything here. I said, as a diaspora, we should not forget our root. We should make sure also that we plan back and do 
whatever we can for our national development plan. So I will not speak much because, like uh, the, the chairman said, today is for you to uh, maybe mix. I'm sure most of you have not seen each other for quite a while. Mix and network, dance and enjoy yourself. So I'm not going to be a stumbling block to that. Thank you very much and God bless. And usually, before I sit down, I have uh, a, what I call uh, a signature, I'm not calling it a signature too. It's just for us to appreciate ourselves and to thank ourselves for what we have done. One, to, for God preserving our lives up in this present moment that Nigeria is 55 uh, today. And also for bringing this kind of uh, events together. And also, it's also a uh, point of the fact that you are not forgotten your root. In, in, in view of the fact that you'll be here for quite a while. Shall we all rise then? It's not a toast. <laughs> I'm going to give the 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 um, what do you call the people in Manchester? What? Mancunians. Mancunians. Yes. I'm going to give Man uh, Mancunia. We are going to give ourselves three buses <laughs> in appreciation of ourselves. So I'll just say one, then go sir. Two, go sir. Three, we have to find final one. One, go sir. Two, go sir. Three, go sir. Thank you and God bless. Gerald Hoffman, MP. Can we give you a warm round of applause, please? Thank you very much for the introduction, Your Excellency. It's not Holland I come from, it's Denmark. <laughs> uh, today I was in Copenhagen as the guest speaker at a conference of young Palestinians and giving my support to the people of Palestine. But I couldn't possibly miss this event and I'm very, very grateful to the organizers for permitting me to arrive a little late because of the time of the plane. I've just come straight from the airport here now. It is wonderful for me to join in the celebrations of Nigeria's independence. Nigeria has now been independent for 55 years. I have visited Nigeria and been very, very impressed with what I have seen there. And it's a country that has problems but deals with its problems. And it's a country that is a fellow member of the Commonwealth with our own country. And that is a wonderful thing because the Commonwealth in this modern age in West Africa is a very, very important institution. But I'm not only pleased to be here because I am happy to join in the celebration of Nigeria's independence, but I'm happy to be here to see all my constituents here tonight who originate, whose families originate from Nigeria. And they are proud of their families, they are proud of their origin, they are proud of the country from which they originate, and they are proud of the country in which they live now and to which they contribute so much. I was speaking in the House of Commons this week about this government's terrible immigration bill 
and how they try to separate, separate out people on the basis of their ethnicity and their religion. And I say that I am proud to represent a constituency which is both multi-ethnic and integrated and it's a marvellous combination and I told the House of Commons that I will be pleased and happy to be attending the Nigeria Independence celebration this evening and I told the Home Secretary and I told the lot of them that this is what Britain is about today. It's marvellous. It's marvellous that you have a beautiful event like this. It's marvellous that so people, so many people have come to celebrate. And to celebrate being Nigerian, and to celebrate being British, and to celebrate being both at the same time. So thank you for inviting me, thank you for making it possible for me, having been with Palestinians in another country earlier today, to be with you here in my home and your home. God bless you. Thank you very much, Sir Gerald. Can we please, again, Appreciate Sir Gerald for flying in all the way from Denmark and step for a ticket for Denmark, not Holland. Okay, and now it is time to. It's Nigeria's birthday, everybody. It's Nigeria's birthday, and at every birthday we have cake, don't we? So it definitely is time to cut the cake to acknowledge Nigeria's birthday of 55 years. So I would like to. Ask uh, Mr. Amrabadadi to come, please. And every, Your Excellency, and everybody, please to make their way to the cake table. because this is the most sought after picture for this evening. Oh what, you don't want me in the picture, seriously. So I'll give put it on Instagram, get it on Facebook, Snapchat, Flickr, Twitter. Anything I missed out? Get it on there this evening and show everybody that you are celebrating with the Nigerian community in Manchester. Okay, so in order to cut the cake this evening, everybody is going to spell out the word Nigeria. So we are going to start with, obviously, N when I say so, and we will end, obviously, with A. And Your Excellency will do the honours and cut the cake for us. Are we ready? One, two, three. G E R I A Nigeria. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have a seat.